what's the idea with and now i'm i'm asking you for help here okay game pass how does it work do you just like pay for game pass and you just get access to like all of microsoft's games is that how it works that's basically how it is. it's netflix gaming right okay that's what i thought that's what i thought so subscription games do not exist on Game Pass then, right? Okay, not all games, it rotates game licenses. $15 USA a month. ESO doesn't have a subscription, but it does have like an optional subscription, which really, if you're playing it in any seriousness, you kind of do need to have, in my opinion. So there's a rotation of games. Okay, so basically either, ne either World of Warcraft would need to be on Game Pass permanently or not at all. It wouldn't make sense for World of Warcraft to sometimes be on Game Pass and sometimes be rotated out. Which makes me think that, like, that's just not going to happen at all, right? Uh, Halo and I think Microsoft made games are always going to happen. So I, when people are talking about WoW being on Game Pass, I don't think that's something that's going to happen. For sure. For sure. Because, like, okay, because if Game Pass was, like, a permanent thing where games that were on Game Pass were always on Game Pass, yeah, I could feasibly, although I don't think, I still don't think they would because I don't think it'd be a good business decision, but I could feasibly see them getting rid of the WoW subscription in that case. Absolutely. So first-party games stay forever on Game Pass. So what do you mean by first-party games? Once Activision Blizzard owned by Microsoft, will they be technically a first party game? Okay, so they will be a first party game. Okay, so they don't say that they are going to have every Blizzard game on Game Pass. They say we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can, which suggests that they already kind of think that ain't going to be WoW. Until WoW is like really, really in the fucking doldrums, right? Because at the moment, why, why on earth would they put it on, on Game Pass? They would lose money by putting it on Game Pass, as things stand. Now, what they could do is put, like, the occasional free month on Game Pass uh, to try and get new players in, right? I could see WoW on Game Pass for X-Pac 10. That might be a little bit soon. I'm not sure this deal will even have gone through before then, to be honest. Uh, Diablo 4 seems to be a shoe in for Game Pass. Yeah, exactly. So what you want is a game that doesn't necessarily have expansions uh, and doesn't have traditionally, like, a subscription model, but does have potential for a shit ton of microtransactions and that's exactly what Diablo 4 is, right? The way I see it, they will offer WoW with Game Pass. That way, everyone that wants to still play will buy Game Pass and it's a better deal for the player as we get access to a huge library. And to me, uh, it won't matter if they get the sub from WoW sub or from the Game Pass. Yeah, but they could have both. <laughs> they could have both, right? Uh, more microtransactions, no separate sub, more gamers. Are you giving that as a good thing, Suguzi? Are you giving that as a good thing? I guess you are. I'm not sure I agree, like, I, I agree with those things as being things that happen. I'm not sure I necessarily agree with them as being good things. I'm not sure I even agree with more players being good things, if it's at the expense of things I like, right? Yes, if the sub numbers drop in WoW to a state where they they would actually make money, they think, by putting it on, on the Game Pass, yeah, 100% they'll do it, of course they will. But that's all it's going to come down to. It's just going to be money. And at the moment, I think, I think, not knowing anything about this shit, look at me, I'm a fucking idiot, just because I'm wearing a really really nice jacket. Don't believe anything I'm fucking saying. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, Evie is the brains, I'm the sex appeal. That's how we do this business, right? But my gut feeling, which is what you should always go with, <laughs> is that at the moment they would be losing money by putting uh, WoW on Game Pass, right? I mean, if you think they'll make more money by putting it on Game Pass, then yes, absolutely, they'll put WoW on the Game Pass. Of course they will. If there is a golden goose in gaming, Subscription live service games are it. MMOs are one of the most expensive games to make. They are, like, one of the most risky games to make. Like, how many successful MMOs are there? Basically none. And yet, company after company after company are willing to throw massive amounts of development time and money into trying to get a successful subscription MMO. Why? Because it's a fucking golden goose. And right now, WoW is a golden goose. Final Fantasy XIV is a golden goose. They are not going to shit on their golden goose. Until they make more money by doing something else. Yeah, maybe they'll have some kind of package. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Battle passes are easier to integrate into your game than a subscription. For sure. 
but subscription is the hard thing to integrate. If you've got a successful game with a subscription, you don't fucking throw that away. Yeah, you could introduce a battle pass, that'd be a whole lot easier, but a subscription is like this rare fucking four-leafed clover unicorn, you know? Yeah, you've got box uh, price, you've got uh, you've got a sub, you've got expansion uh, box price, which is, goes for 60 bucks, the same as a fucking AAA game, every two years, and you've got a fucking shop full of microtransactions as well. Wow, it's got it made. Why would they shit on that? Maybe expansion's free with Game Pass. I think that would be the way to do it. Uh, it's going to be on Game Pass. I bet a lot of money on it. I, I, cool. I, like, I, I'm in. You know, I don't really care either way. We're just. I don't. I don't have a horse in. I mean, I do have a horse in it. I guess in that it's the game that I talk about the most. If WoW does go on the Game Pass. Uh, which a lot of you seem to think it will, and that's a perfectly reasonable take. I don't think you're wrong. Then, I mean, the shop is going to explode. So look at ESO, right? Look at the look at the store on ESO. It's one of the worst fucking stores in MMOs. It's horrible. They sell XP buffs. They sell like basic consumables. There's no sub in ESO. But there is. You don't have to sub to ESO to play it, but if you actually want to play it, you kind of do have to sub to it. And, and like, that's on Game Pass, right? ESO is literally on Game Pass. Do you want WoW to be like ESO, I guess is the question, because that's what they would do, like, in that it's on Game Pass, but also you do kind of have to sub to it anyway. But at the moment, I'm really glad that WoW isn't like ESO. And I know it's, like, fashionable just to say that everything's better than WoW, but I honestly don't think the, 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 the way you pay for ESO is better than WoW, actually, no. Like, you buy fucking storylines on ESO, not just expansions, okay? You don't just buy expansions on ESO, although you do also buy expansions. You buy literal storylines. ESO was the way, that way before uh, Microsoft bought it. Okay, fair enough, good point. But do you think they wouldn't use it as a base? Like, we're, we're trying to s speculate what, what uh, an MMO would look like on Game Pass, and I don't think it's, like, unreasonable to look at an MMO which is on Game Pass. But I don't think it's unreasonable to look at MMOs that are on Game Pass when you're speculating what WoW would look like on a Game Pass. I think the store would explode, but only cosmetics, no power. Oh, Palindar, don't play ESO, you'll shit yourself. I, I hate to break it to you, but if WoW goes on Game Pass, there absolutely will be player power items on the store. I think they analyze the Blizz community. They don't need to maximize profits. They probably have more to win building up goodwill. Okay. Just out of interest, and just a, a quick straw poll in the chat here. Who do you think is more likely to care about goodwill for a singular game than short-term money? A company that has a hundred games under their umbrella or a company that has 10 games under their umbrella? And put a hundred or 10 in the chat. Who um, Who's going to care more about the goodwill towards a single uh, IP? It's a dumb question, right? Because the answer is obvious. So why is selling to Microsoft, who now own like literally hundreds of titles, why would they care more about Goodwill than a company that has less games? A hundred because they can afford it. Interesting take. We'll find out. You know, this is the good thing. We can speculate this now. But the great thing is, this isn't like a WoW expansion. This isn't like a WoW storyline. We will get an answer to this. <laughs> And I guess we'll find out. What do you think of this pushing WoW for Xbox port? As 14 is PlayStation console exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Why not? Like, from what I understand, uh, 14 works really, really well on, on consoles. I was never against WoW being on consoles in the first place. It was mostly kind of like the more reactive elements of the community, right? I assume now, right, that you could like you could put WoW onto console and no one would really mind because everyone loves Final Fantasy 14. But if you'd done it a year ago, people would have shat blood. Another reason why I genuinely think that the success of Final Fantasy 14 is probably going to give WoW developers a lot more freedom to do other stuff because the community will accept it more um, which I think is a really good thing let's put this to a, a straw poll like a yes or no answer in chat hypothetically if WoW subscription was put onto the game pass but the store became much more like the ESO store as in literal consumables storylines and experience buffs and things like that on the store, would you be in favor of it or no? Yes or no? I think most people are saying no. And the vast majority of people are saying no. Well, I think that's something to bear in mind, right? Because 
one thing's for certain, if they do put the WoW sub on the, on the, uh, the Game Pass, it ain't going to be with no changes. If they do put it on the Game Pass, they're going to look to make more money elsewhere. And I don't think it's unreasonable to look at an MMO that already exists on the Game Pass as to where they might do that. Oh, ESO have literal loot boxes you can buy, by the way, on the store as well. When you're learning mount riding in ESO, you can only improve by one point per day. You have to go, at least when I used to play ESO, this is how it worked. Like when you're leveling up your horse riding, you can only level up by one point a day, but you can buy a whole ton of points to put in instantly, which is like genuine character progress, right? I personally would rather that WoW wasn't on the Game Pass if that was the, the price to pay. ESO does loads of things really well. Of course it does. But then you're just talking about basic game design. I'm talking about how the business model would work. And I think the the business model for ESO is fucking horrible. I hate it. Um, I assuming it would just give you the game like how ESO does, but doesn't give you anything else. So it would just give you the expansions. The subscription would remain the same. Mm. Oh, okay, right. Okay, so you'd still have to sub to it. Okay, so what? Yeah, okay. Oh, ESO removed the loot boxes when Microsoft bought them. Are you sure you can't get loot boxes in ESO anymore? I, I, I mean, I believe you. I feel like I saw them there quite recently. Maybe I'm wrong. I, look, I'm happy to accept I'm wrong. And that's good news, right? I'd be... There are still crown crates. Yeah. The ones where the Khajiit guy is sitting on the box and he's like, Yo, give me some crowns and open the box. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, those are still there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, no, I, I'm still right then. No, that's okay. Well, that's not okay. That's bad. <laughs> I, I'd rather be wrong, honestly. What I don't want to see is WoW's store becoming like the ESO store. I really don't want to see that. Like, for me, the the horse leveling thing is, like, the most objo obnoxious fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, you can, you can only increase your horse riding by one point a day. I just went to the store and I fucking bought it. Oh, yeah, there are advantages to have it on Game Pass for sure. And attracting players, new and old, is definitely one of those advantages. No one's denying that. I think there's reason to be hopeful. Like, genuinely. I know that a lot of people shit on the business-orientated side of Blizzard and of WoW, and I think that's fair enough. But the actual standalone business model is one of the best in MMOs, I think. And it's one of the most user-friendly in MMOs. And I think it would be objectively bad for WoW to become more like MMO, other MMOs in its business model, honestly. So I think, whereas I am incredibly hopeful and optimistic and a lot of that just comes from an emotional response to how bad blizzard is right now in terms of how it treats its employees and how shitty bobby kotick is i'm willing to admit that my kind of optimism of this comes mostly like most people i think from a basic hatred of bobby kotick which i think is fair we're human beings we're allowed to indulge that a little bit it would be a shame if wow's business model became more like other mmos i like having a subscription and a, a not very intrusive store which I don't care what anyone says when they're trying to shit on WoW. Um, it, it doesn't, it's got one of the best stores in MMOs. Like it's got one of the least intrusive, least impactful stores in MMOs. Like particularly compared to free to play MMOs and stuff like that. I can't see WoW becoming any less like ESO in its business model with uh, Microsoft taking over, put it that way. But most expensive, is it really though in the long term? Like on paper, yeah. But is it really, though? The amount of stuff that is locked behind other payments and in the ESO, can you really say it's cheaper than WoW? I know which one I spent more on in a month when I was playing them both. It's fucking ESO. I don't know, man. I, I've always said that I would rather pay a subscription. Like, genuinely. I, I, and I always get nervous when people say that WoW should be free to play. Because I don't want it to be free to play. I want to pay a subscription. Because I think not having a subscription hurts the game more. And... For evidence, I would show you every other MMO. <laughs> wow token, it's already free to play. Uh, yeah, well, I think, okay, so, okay. So being able to play it for free is not the same as being free to play. And I don't think I really need to explain the difference, but I'm going to. Like, having a game that has a, uh, a subscription is, and, and having a way that people can avoid that subscription by earning gold in game is not the same as being a free to play game. I, I, I can see that you know that as well. What if WoW moved to the Guild Wars 2 model and you only pay for cosmetic, ease of life expansions, but no sub? Yeah, I wouldn't like that, personally. I don't want to pay for my cosmetics. I don't want to pay for my cosmetics. I'd rather pay for the game. I'd rather pay for the game and have it all there 
and get the cosmetics by playing the game. I don't want to pay for cosmetics. Personally, and you don't have to agree with this. This is absolutely fine. This is your opinion. Um, and everyone's going to have a different opinion. But in, in my opinion, I think it's like better if you pay a sub and you don't have to pay for stuff like cosmetics, for stuff like, in ESO's case, consumables and XP gains and horse riding level ups and literal storylines, which I think is a, a really fucking obnoxious model that I do not want WoW to have. And I think it's probably, if we're honest and we get off the copium just for a second, I think it's probably more likely WoW becomes more like that under Microsoft. I don't think it's gonna become less like that under Microsoft, simple as that. And I say that as someone that really likes ESO. Like I think ESO is a great game. I think it's a really, really good game. And there's stuff about it that I really like. I really like that you can start in any expansion. I really like that when I started playing, I hadn't played it for a while and I bought um, Somerset. I started in Somerset, it was great. I was playing with all like the max level people. It's it really cool, I think that's amazing. But there's loads of stuff that I fucking hate about it and the store is most of it. ESO is not dead. ESO gets like an expansion every year. I, I think it's a fun game. The combat is janky as all fuck, in my opinion. But if you if you vibe with it, that's awesome. The game pass could be integrated into WoW sub. Increasing player base. Yeah, sure, sure. But I'll be honest. Like, obviously it's good for WoW to have a, a big player base. Of course it is. Yay. But the reason it's good for WoW to have a big player base is because it means they're going to keep on making the game, right? Honestly, ideally for me as a player, I'd rather that WoW had a player base that was just big enough you know there's like there's like a plateau where it's good to have players in mmo but then it gets a point where you've got enough i don't want to be a dick okay but i'm gonna be wow is a much friendlier nicer game in the last four months than it was for like five years before that the community that plays wow right now you log into wow right now it's so much fucking nicer in the last couple of months than it was for fucking years before that. In my opinion, having a massive player base is not the be all and end all. I want the player base to be big enough, but I don't want numbers just for the sake of it. Like, yeah, numbers are good. You need numbers so that your game doesn't die. And you need numbers so there are people to play with and so they keep on creating content for it. And let's not fuck around, okay? So that lots of people watch my fucking videos. This is a surprising take from you wanting to gatekeep the game. What's gatekeepy about that? Who am I trying to keep out of the game? Who am I gatekeeping against? Who am I closing the gate to? Because I don't want to be gatekeepy. How is, how is that gatekeeping? Anyone that isn't a hardcore WoW fan, it feels like, keep out the casuals. Is that what I said? If anything, the reason everyone calls me a fucking shill is because I spent the last fucking th like years championing casuals in this game when all of the other big creators were completely against it. I didn't say I wanted to keep the player base low. Mm, I feel like I feel like you're hearing a lot what you want to hear here, honestly. Um, if you've got questions, ask them. I'll happily answer them. But um, in response to your your answers, no, I'm not trying to gatekeep. I I want everyone to uh, who wants to play the game to play the game. And furthermore, I think it should be a lot more fucking user friendly and easier for casuals to play the game and to stay caught up with stuff. That's long, long, long been the stuff that I fought for in this game as proof literally watched my last uh, weekly reset video but what I'm saying is we've had an exodus of players in WoW and that exodus of players was largely made up of players who weren't enjoying the game and kind of hated the game but it was didn't know how to leave it and now thankfully big creators and stuff have shown them other games that they can play and encouraged them to leave WoW which is great because it means the game isn't full of people that fucking hate the game <laughs> And I think that's good, right? I don't think that's gatekeepy. I'm happy for them because they enjoy their lives better. They enjoy their gaming experience better. Like, I think it will make them enjoy WoW better as well. Like, I've always... One of the reasons I'm, I'm always so, like, um, enthusiastic about WoW, and one of the reasons I always enjoy WoW so much is I've never, ever played WoW as my only game. Never, ever in my entire life has WoW been my only game. I've always played other games alongside WoW. I've always encouraged other people to do that as well because I think it makes you enjoy your life more, which is really good. 
And it makes you enjoy WoW more as well. And I think it's noticeable in WoW at the moment that the people who are there are there much more because they want to be there. And that's not gatekeeping. That's just nice for the community. If everyone who's there wants to be there, that's automatically going to be a nicer community. It's not about gatekeeping. It's just about like appreciating that everyone's a lot happier. It doesn't mean you can't still criticize the game or whatever, but like, that, you know, I think we all know that WoW was full of people that just fucking hated WoW. <laughs> but it was the only game they'd like ever played. <laughs> and they didn't want to leave it. They felt they'd invested too much into it and a lot of those players that did leave will come back a lot of them won't but plenty of them will come back you know what you know when i enjoy wow the most you know there have been a few occasions like recently in the last few months where i've been like fuck wow's awesome and you know when those occasions have been? Been when I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for 20 hours. I play a bunch of Final Fantasy XIV, and then I log into WoW, and I'm like, holy shit, this feels amazing. This combat is so fucking smooth. Oh my god, it feels so good just to move my character around. It's incredible, I love this. And then I play WoW for a whole bunch of time, and then I go and play Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm like, holy fuck, this is brilliant. Oh my god, this story is being delivered so well. My character is so weeby and awesome. I'm wearing a fucking knit sweater, this is incredible, my life is so good. And then I go and play FIFA, and I'm like, oh, I love FIFA. And I come back and I play WoW again, I like it. Like, genuinely, it's just nice to be happy with the game you're playing. And I think we got to a stage in WoW where a whole bunch of people weren't happy. Now, am I saying that's a fault on their part? Fuck no, it's a fault with the game, right? But I've always recommended that if you didn't enjoy the game, don't play it. And that's not a kind of like, oh, you're criticizing the game, just don't play it. That's not to undermine any criticisms that you have. That's not to dismiss any criticisms you have. But honestly, your mental health and your enjoyment of your life is more important than making WoW a better game. It's not your job to make WoW a better game. Just don't play it if you don't like it. Honestly, it's fine. You, you will be happier and that's what's important. Your happiness and your quality of life and your like mental health and your enjoyment of video games in general is more important than trying to make WoW a better game. Who gives a shit? It's just some fucking video game. Just don't play it. Play another game, you know? And always watch my videos. Watch my vids. Watch them all the way through. Then share them with your friends. Put on the bell. Put them on Twitter and say, hey, this is good. And then go into Discord and say, hey, have you seen Taliesin's new video? Fucking boss, man. He's got such good takes. And a nice jacket.